Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a pin diagram of 8 to double 5. So what is this 8 to double 5? 8 to double 5 is a programmable uh, peripheral interface. So this is an interfacing circuit which is connected to the processor and to the external component. So it acts as in a uh, peripheral interface. So what are the peripherals that are connected from external devices? Those external devices will first connect to this peripheral interface and this interface circuit will connect it to 8086 microprocessor. So here an 8086 microprocessor and from uh, this 8255 will connect it to some external peripheral devices. Peripheral devices. So this chip will act as an interfacing circuit between these 8086 microprocessor and external peripheral devices. Now let us see what is this uh, chip will do the operations. Uh, so this is 8255, the pin number is the 8255. So don't be confused, the programmable peripheral interface is a, uh, the number is 8255. So the main concept here is uh, whenever we are discussing about the 8255, the, the terms that you have to be remembered, 8255 that is a programmable peripheral interface consisting of three ports, port A, port B and port C, programmable peripheral interface. So interfacing circuit between the processor and the external components. So this uh, PPI is divided into three ports. It consisting of three ports. Port A, Port B and the Port C. So Port A is having PA0 to PA7 means total 8 bits. Uh, and the Port B consisting of P0, PB0 to PB7. So total 8 bits. And the Port C consisting of PC0 to PC7. Total 8 bits. So there are three, uh, there are eight by, by direction, uh, so these are the different three ports that are present in programmable peripheral interface. So these ports are connected to the peripheral devices, the external components. From that, whatever the data that is wants to send to the processor, so first these ports will accept the data and sends the data to this 8086 microprocessor to perform the operation. So the result again sends to these peripheral components. So based on the port selection, the data will be sent to that external devices. Now let us see what are this. So this uh, 8255 is a 40-pin dual-in package. It's consisting of 40 pins totally. One side 20 pins, another side 20 pins. Okay. So now let us discuss each pin. What are the these pins will do the operations? So first let us see the D naught two. D7. So this D0 to D7 is a uh, 8 bit. So this is an 8 bit. 8 bit bidirectional buses connected to 8086 data bus for transferring data. So this will be connected to 8086 data bus. So this D0 to D7, this is an 8 bit data bus which is connected to the 8086 microprocessor. And next, coming to the uh, chip selection. So the chip selection is this is always active low. So whenever this this is active low signal, uh, here the uh, when it is when it is low, the data is transferred from 8086 microprocessor. Whenever it is low, the data is transferred from 8086 microprocessor. CS bar that is whenever it is low, zero bar means one. It indicates one. One means transfer from 8086 means the, the result that is transferred from 8086 to this 8255 pin. Next coming to the read signal. The read this is active low. It, this represents the active low signal. So when it is low the read operation will be start. Okay. So whenever this RD bar is low the read operation is start. Now coming to the write. Write means this is also active low pin. When it is low the write operation will be start. Okay, next uh, the remaining means A0 and A1. So this two is used to select the ports. So the main A1, A0 and A1. Okay, A1 and A0, these are the two address ports. We call it as an address. Port, address. So it is going to be select the ports. Means which port we have to be selected. That will be indicated with the help of A1 and A0. A1, A0. So let us see which port we have to be selected. 
So whenever a not a one and a not both are zero means port A has to be selected. Whenever it is zero one, port B. One zero, port C. Suppose both or all a one and a not is holding one one bit. It represents the control register has to be selected. So this is the uh, these address are useful to uh, select which port. means uh, from where we have to get the data from where we have to put the data means from where which port we have to select get the data and the cpu which port we have to put the data so that will be decided by this a0 and a1 next is reset so reset is used to reset the device that means clears uh, the it clears the control register whenever the reset signal is active it clears the control register whatever the matter that is present in the control register now let us coming to the port a pa not to pa7 so the here four pins and here four pins so pa not to pa7 it is a 8 bit bidirectional input output pins used to send the data to peripherals or to receive the data from peripherals okay so it is used to send the data to peripherals and receive the data to peri from peripherals so suppose here the peripheral devices are there peripherals external devices this port a is used to send the data to peripherals and receives the data from peripherals in the same way the port b also the port b also use it to send the data to peripherals and to receive the data from peripherals okay from here to we are sending to cpu from here to uh, from peripherals to ports and ports to cpu so this uh, a255 is holding these ports and pc not to pc7 so the pc not to pc7 this is also an 8 bit bidirectional bus 8 bit bidirectional bus uh, which uh, uh, connected to io pins so these lines are divided into this 8 bit 8 lines are divided into two groups totally divides into two groups okay so the first group consisting of pc not to pc4 which uh, pc3 uh, which you call it as a lower group and pc4 to pc7 which you call it as a higher group so this total 8 bits will be divided into two groups pc0 to pc3 and pc4 to pc7 so these two groups working in separately using four datas pb0 to pb7 will combinedly perform the operation pa0 to pa7 will combine perform the operation whereas a port c will be divided into two groups one is higher and the one is lower uh, we uh, these two groups is working in separately using four datas okay so this is and vcc is a power supply we are given and ground is a pin connected to the ground so this is about the pin diagram of 8255 thank you